Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and just about a week ago, we got the big announcement that Cobra Kai would be moving to Netflix. Along with this announcement, the Cobra Kai writers teased at the possibility of future Cobra Kai spin-offs. If you don't know what a spin-off is, a spin-off is a story of another character or event from the original movie. It's not a reboot, and it's not a sequel. It's just telling the story of another character or another event in the Karate Kid universe. When talking about the possibilities of a Cobra Kai spin-off, Hayden Schlossberg says, Cobra Kai itself is a spin-off in a way, in a sense of this massive, awesome movie that we all fell in love with. We treat Karate Kid like Breaking Bad, and our show is like the Better Call Saul, but we may be the Breaking Bad for some other Better Call Saul that we come up with, whether it's through characters we've created or other characters from the franchise that haven't been explored. We just love the Karate Kid, so when you give us an inch, we'll go for it all when it comes to having fun with the story and the characters. There's nothing official in the works. This deal is all about Cobra Kai going to Netflix, but it's absolutely our intention to have as much fun with this world and these characters as possible. Now this is really exciting news because now we're going to expand beyond Cobra Kai and explore other stories and other characters, whether that's in the form of a live action series or an animated series. There are so many possibilities and I know for sure that the writers have a lot of ideas of what they would do if they had the opportunity to make something beyond Cobra Kai. I still think that Cobra Kai will be the main priority, which it should, but I think in between seasons it would be cool to have other content such as a spin-off show about another character or about another time in the Karate Kid universe. I think that would be awesome. Now today I'm going to share with you the four Karate Kid spin-off ideas that I think are most likely to happen and that I would really want to happen. Whether it's in a live action version or an animated version, these are the ideas that I would really like to see come to life. And if you guys have any other spin-off ideas that you want to see happen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I love hearing what you guys have to say. So let's just get right into it. At number one, in no particular order, I have a John Kreese spin-off. Now the reason why I would like to see a Kree spinoff is because I think there's so much that could be explored with his character. We know that before the Karate Kid, Kreese was in the military. How did he get in? What happened to him there? How did he meet Terry Silver? What was their relationship like? I'd really like to see that fleshed out in a series of some sorts. Also, I just made a video on Kreese's old girlfriend, Betsy. How did he meet her? What was that story? Make sure to check out that video if you haven't already. I talk a lot about Betsy and how she could return in Cobra Kai Season 3, but she could also be in this Kreese spinoff if we're exploring his backstory before the Karate Kid. The story was set up in the comic, so maybe it could be explored more and further developed in a Kreese backstory story series. And even if we don't experience the period before Karate Kid, we could always go after Karate Kid 3. What happened to Kreese after he lost the tournament again? We know he's been kind of going around here, doing this, doing that, but did he meet Terry Silver again? What was their relationship like after Karate Kid 3? How did Kreese get into the homeless shelters? What happened? What was his downfall? There has to be something there, and I would really love to see that story of after Karate Kid 3 and before Karate Cobra Kai, what was he doing? And maybe at the end of that series, it could even lead into Cobra Kai, so it all ties in perfectly. Now the next spinoff I'd like to see is a Miyagi-Do origin story. Now with this, the possibilities are endless. You don't just have to focus on Mr. Miyagi. You could learn a lot about his father, a lot about Yukie. Maybe we could even see Sato. And then depending on how long the show goes, maybe as Mr. Miyagi gets older, we could see Chosen if that timing works. But the point is there could be a lot of characters explored with this, not just Mr. Miyagi, but we could also see Mr. Miyagi as a kid learning from his father, have that parallel of Daniel and Mr. Miyagi, but seeing how Miyagi learned from his father. The series would obviously take place in Okinawa where Mr. Miyagi grew up, and with them bringing back Okinawa in Cobra Kai Season 3, I think it's a very good setup to introduce it later on in a new spin-off regarding Mr. Miyagi and his origin. The next spin-off I'd like to see is a story about Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi after Karate Kid 3. Now there actually was an animated Karate Kid TV series that followed Daniel Russo and Mr. Miyagi after Karate Kid 3. 
the episodes are pretty much unavailable now. I don't really know how to watch them. If anyone knows, then please let me know because I would love to check it out. But the series was released back in September of 1989. So what they could do is make an updated version of the series, telling some of those stories, but also telling some new stories. There must have been so many lessons that Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel after Karate Kid 3 and before he died. In Cobra Kai, we even see Daniel doing a one-handed kick, which we never saw Mr. Miyagi teach him in the movies, so it's implied that Mr. Miyagi taught him that after Karate Kid 3, so stuff like that can be explored. Also, we know that Mr. Miyagi was alive when Daniel had his family, so it would be really cool to see Mr. Miyagi with Daniel's kids. I think that would be awesome. So definitely a story with Daniel and Mr. Miyagi after Karate Kid 3, I think that would be awesome to see. And lastly, the spinoff that I would really like to see them do is a Terry Silver backstory. We all know that John Kreese is crazy, but whatever level John Kreese is at, Terry Silver is a thousand levels up in terms of being a psychopath because he is that crazy. Chances are we're probably not going to get both a Terry Silver spinoff and a Kree spinoff just because both characters can appear in each other's timelines. However, I think it would be really cool to see a full-on series just about Terry Silver and exploring his background, and I think he should have a story similar to Joker, where sure we see where he's coming from sometimes, but he's still a full-on psychopath. And if it was a series, then you can definitely flesh out that character a lot more, and I think it would just be amazing to watch. So those are the four spinoff shows that I would really like to see come to life. Now, I didn't mention any of the newer characters from Cobra Kai because we're still getting those stories. And I feel like after Cobra Kai finishes, we could see then if we could get a spinoff of one of the newer characters after the show or something of them before. But I feel like for now, if they're going to do something, do it with the older Karate Kid characters, something with Kreese, Terry Silver, Mr. Miyagi, something back then I think would be really cool to explore. So what spinoffs in the Karate Kid universe would you guys like to see? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button and karate chop the notification bell so you're always alerted when I upload a new video. I make prediction videos, theories, and I will let you guys know when we get any season 3 news. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to share the video with your fellow Cobras and Miyagi-Dos. I'll see you guys next time on Cobra Kai Kid. And remember, Cobra Kai never dies.